Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ, my little YouTube family. Today is Saturday, July the 10th, and it's 3.22 p.m. I have a most exciting and encouraging message from the Lord to bring to you. And it's on uh, 444 Prophecy News. It was posted up on July the 9th. I believe she received it on the 7th. And once again, I say to you, if you just go there to read the prophecies, you have to understand the person putting them up, and this they've changed just real recently, it does not have enough discernment to understand. You, he's just putting up prophecies, and he's supposed to be praying over them and putting up only the right ones. And some of them say something that isn't true or that has been shown to not be from the Lord. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Just be careful. If you go there, use much discernment. All right, this is called The Time is Short by Lynn Johnson or was given to Lynn Johnson. Okay. Posted by 444 Prophecy News on 2021, July 7. I'm sorry, 7.09. The 9th. I'm not used to reading them backwards. The 9th of July. Be ready for the most important and exciting time in the history of this age. Be ready for your change. It comes suddenly without warning. The time is short. That's the title. July 9th, 8.53 p.m. Lynn Johnson. Okay, here we go. Word received February 7th, 2021 at 3.48 a.m. Wow, this goes to show you what the Lord, when the Lord says the time is short, it's not our time. That's in His time. But I'm going to share it anyway. My children, the time is short. You will begin your work in the harvest of souls at any moment. <clears throat> Nobody can say they weren't warned if they were looking to be warned. They should have been warned. Okay, I added that. Be ready for this as the anointing by the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, is imminent. <coughs> Excuse me. Once this has happened, you will be forever changed. You will have a much higher level of understanding along with the ability to see in the supernatural realm. As I have said, this may be somewhat disconcerting at first. Once I begin to speak to you and prepare you for your mission, you will be sent out to accomplish it. You will have no fear, as I will be with you always. I will make a way for you to do the tasks that I will have you perform along with the people that I have chosen for you to help. Do not go to other people. Go only to who I have directed you to. This is necessary for only those I have chosen will respond to your invitation. Your help to come. Now, I'm, I'm not sure if this is a typo. I'm going to read it as it's typed. Okay. This is necessary for only those I have chosen will respond to your invitation, your help to come, to come into my kingdom of glory. 
I guess if you put a comma in there, it makes sense. The other people have chosen their way, and their eternal destiny is sealed. You cannot change their course, so do not waste your time in an attempt to do so. Time is short, and those who truly need your help must receive it. Follow my guide, and you will succeed. For you will do amazing wonders and miracles in order to help those who I have called. Do not worry about what you will do at the time of need. I am in control, so you do not have to worry. Again, I repeat, you will be protected at all times. You cannot be harmed in any way. The great Almighty, your Lord and Savior, has said this, and it will be so. I am does not lie or make mistakes. Be ready for the most important and exciting time in the history of this age. This age ends and a new one begins. The kingdom of glory where peace and joy reside with all. Life lived abundantly as it was meant to be for all. Remember that the time is short to accomplish your tasks. You will understand this at the time. Once the last called one has chosen the kingdom, you will be called home to be with me, for my great wrath will then begin. Well, that's supposed to happen after the sixth seal. So, uh, unless he's con considering the seals as part of his great wrath. Anyway, it says, You will be called home to be with me, for my great wrath will then begin, and you are not appointed for this. Be ready for your change. It comes suddenly without warning. Your King Yeshua, your Redeemer, Messiah and your soon-to-be bridegroom. I await you, my precious warriors of faith, my bride with outstretched arms, with a love you cannot even imagine. The scriptures given are Acts 5.14 from the New King James Version. And believers were increasingly added to the Lord Multitudes of both men and women. First Corinthians, Corinthians 2.12 New King James Version Now I know you might say, well wait a minute, that Acts 5.14 one, that happened already back when the apostles walked the earth. Well that's true. This just goes to show how in such a short period of time Many people can be, multitudes can be added. And it will happen again. 1 Corinthians 2.12, New King James Version. Now we have received, not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. 2 Thessalonians 3, verse 3, from New King James Version. But the Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. Thank you, Lord. Praise be to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The last one is Hebrews 4, 16, NKJV. Let us, therefore, come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. 
Oh my goodness. I feel like all I want to do is get to heaven and lay prostrate in front of the throne of grace. In front of Father and just cry and worship Him and thank Him and And then when some others go, hey, how about moving out of the way so we can get down there? Then maybe I'll move and go hug on Jesus. I mean, I love them both. I love them all. It's Elohim, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. They're all God. They're all equal. And we love them all. You should not ever, ever discard the necessity and love for the Holy Spirit. He is our comforter, our guide, our source of wisdom, our best friend. He lives inside of us. He is the, the one who helps us remember when we're speaking to someone about the Lord and, and he'll help bring a message or a scripture up to our, you know, our brain <laughs> when we're forgetful. And, you know, and he does so much. And I don't, I don't know if we'll get to see him when we're in heaven, but I think we will. It might not be like in a human type form, more like a ghostly, see-through, you know, spirit. I don't know. We'll find out. Just know that you need the Holy Spirit, so you best be praying to be filled up, filled up, filled up with him. Okay. So, I'm going to end this right here. I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every single one of us and all of our devices and the internet connections so we can stay connected. And no more videos taken down. So, all those that might, could be, are on BitChute now under Truther 2.0. I noticed there's a truther 222. Okay, that's not me. Truther 2.0. I saw that and I went, oh, how funny is that? I actually thought of that and I said, no, I'll just go with 2.0 because I'm Jeannie Hardesty 2.0. And I thought that'll help people remember. I should have just went with my own name. I don't know why I didn't. Anyway. I'm going to end it here and I'll say God bless each and every one of you. And I pray. I do pray that God will find us all worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man as part of his bride. Okay, bye for now. I'll talk to you later.